Namaste. How are you doing? The muscles supporting our eyes are the strongest in our bodies. They can hold 100 times more than their normal capacity. And next to the brain, they're the most complex. During meditation, this is what I do. I use the optical muscles to magnetize the energy in the brain so I can send the sensation of the energy up the higher chakras of the spine. But for health and wellness functions, yeah, relaxing the eyes is very important. So if you feel strain as you work, you know, if your work entails lots of computer work, reading, writing, if you're an artist you know, in the customer service, because we use our eyes to assess the situation around us, it means you need to take a break. You know, relax the eyes. So let me teach you gentle eye exercises you can do at home. So using your fingers, the middle and the ring fingers, you can place them on top here, uh, where your eyebrows meet, and then lift yeah, the skin up. And as you do this, inspire the breath in. Inhaling, you may apply the Navu Mudra, the sealing of the surface of the tongue against the heart palate. Good. And then just keep breathing normally while lifting your eyebrows up. And what it does is stretch yeah, the optical nerves. And then here, you may stay here. Five times you inhale and exhale. All right, you may relax the tongue and sigh it out to the gentle simhasana. And then rub uh, sideways. Yeah, and then here, the edges of our eyes to stretch the skin and then pull the skin upwards. And then the same technique, yeah, massaging and holding yeah, and the stretch. Yeah, what we do here, we separate yeah, the optical nerves because they intersect in the midline, especially when they're stressed, uh, optic nerves contract to the midline, the optic chiasm. And then when you stretch them, yeah, you release the pressure. And you also relax the occipital part of the brain because the part, the back, uh, the rear part, yeah, we control the optical information by stretching the eyes, the optic nerves, and relaxing them. We relax the occipital part of the brain and then massage your ears too. So pull the ears outwards, yeah, away from your neck, away from your head, and then downwards, yeah, and then circle around. Yeah, you may use the index finger to massage the inside, yeah, pressing, breathing, you know, because the ears are the external nerve endings of the vagus nerves. And the vagus nerves are an important part of our parasympathetic nervous system. The vagus nerve regulates the function of our heartbeat, our heart rate, um, our breathing, yeah, metabolism, digestion, many part of the endocrine functions are controlled by the vagus nerve. And then when the vagus nerve contract because we're stressed, yeah, we create imbalances in the vital inner organs. So by stretching the ears, this is the external yeah, ending of the vagus nerve. We relax and stretch the vagus nerve too. And then the vagus nerve, the optical nerves, and they are all related to the function of the Manipura chakra and yeah, the solar plexus. Yeah. And then by doing these exercises, you uh, influence and um, relax the Manipura chakra. The Manipura chakra, the solar plexus, connected to our eyesight, yeah, uh, light and radiance. So if you have time, if you have the space, go outside and be one with nature, see colors, the sky, the vastness. Of